morning, y'all. How is everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. I'm not sure if it's morning where you are and when y'all watch this, but it's morning here where I am. I thought I'd get up early and shoot a YouTube video and a couple TikToks. And today we're going to talk about some of the world's most haunted cemeteries. I find cemeteries so interesting. So get y'all something good to drink and something good to eat. And come on, y'all. Let's check out these cemeteries. The first one that I want to talk about is a Resurrection Cemetery. And I have did some stories on Resurrection Cemetery before. Y'all can find them. They're one of my other videos. And it's about a woman called Resurrection Mary. And she catches rides to the cemetery. And she'll appear on the side of the road. And if you pick her up and you go in front of Resurrection Cemetery, she'll ask you to pull over. And then she'll disappear. And the next cemetery I want to talk about is in Louisiana. It's number one cemetery. There is a lot of people that has been buried there, and they're buried above ground in tombs and vaults. It's actually pretty scary when you first walk in it. The most famous person that is buried there is Lorie Laveau, and she is the voodoo queen. The story goes, if you leave a gift for Lorie Laveau, uh, she will, like, bless you, you know, send you good luck. The next one is a Friars Courtyard, Gettysburg, Scotland. A lot of people said that they would not go in there on their own, and there would be no chance that you'd catch them at nighttime going in there. A lot of people have reported being hurt, pushed, scratched inside the cemetery. One of the most famous places is Gettysburg. There was a lot of soldiers died at Get in Gettysburg. Ghosts of both the Confederate and so, uh, soldiers still haunt Gettysburg. I've actually seen um, videos and pictures of them catching soldiers uh, fading in and out of the wood, uh, soldiers crawling on the ground, and uh, it's like they just keep reliving the war over and over again. And there is actually one that when you're taking pictures, uh, he loves to get in pictures. So he's been seen a bunch of times in pictures. I would love to go to Gettysburg. And then there is Paris, Père Lachaise Cemetery in Paris, France. There is a lot of famous people that is buried in that cemetery. Jim Morrison is actually buried at that cemetery. But those are some of the haunted cemeteries that I found fascinating. Y'all need to look some of them up if you're interested because there is a lot of them. There is actually one cemetery that has a playground in it. And I couldn't believe it. Uh, there is sightings of children that play on the equipment. And I don't know why they would do that. But there's actually a playground in the cemetery. Y'all need to look them up. It, it, I, I got into it and I found it so interesting. And since all of this has been going on, I think uh, the spirit world knows the stress that we're going under. Because there's been a lot of activity in my house. I see stuff out of the corner of my eyes. Um, orbs a lot. It's been happening for a couple weeks. I, I feel that the spirit world understands that we're under a lot of stress. And if they are living with us side by side, then they would know the stress that we're going under. And usually my sister and me, we can feel things at the same time. Uh, my baby sister. And she mentioned it to me the other day that she was seeing things. And her daughter was seeing things. And I said, well, that's weird because I've been seeing things too. So if the spirit world does know what's going on with us, why wouldn't they come and stand side by side while we're going through so much stress and kind of watch over us? Or do they know the outcome of everything before it happens? Uh, I have no idea. Can they read our thoughts when we're under stress? I believe they can because I've seen a, a spirit one time and I could read her thoughts. Uh, I told the story about that in one of my other videos, but I hope y'all are having a good day, and I'm sorry it's been a couple weeks since I've been on, and uh, I'm still doing research for the ghosts of the White House, and as soon as all of this is over and the quarantine is over, where everything starts opening back up, and I feel safe, like I've been telling y'all, we're going to Bobby Mackey's, it's, it's just we're waiting for all this to be over, and I hope y'all are keeping yourself safe, washing your hands, and staying upbeat, find find yourself stuff to keep you busy. Uh, I've been doing TikTok, and I've made a lot of friends on TikTok, and I've had a good time with it. So find things to keep yourself busy, and I'll see y'all later, my little freak squads.